kids must have thought they had a crazy kid cause I was one of those kids who always knew what I wanted they took me down to the airport to see all the planes depart and watching them fly something inside of me was starting I was eight when I told them that I'd be a pilot but I was too young and too short and there were no female captains and my dad said be patient he said just see what happens and I took my first lesson came down from the sky and told my father I'd fly for the rest of my life and I got my first job flying for a mortician in a tiny bonanza just a corpse and me five dollars an hour for flying dead bodies I had to climb over their faces just to get to my seat and so complain. Suddenly I'm buying company charters. Suddenly everything's higher. Suddenly there's nothing in between me and the sky. American Airlines had the prettiest planes. So I applied as a flight engineer. World War II pilots, they all complain. They said girls shouldn't be in the cockpit. Hey, lady, hey, baby, hey, why don't you grab us a drink? And the flight attendants were my friends back then. And they said, are you better than us, do you think? But I kept getting hired. And the World War II crew, they retired. And the girls all thought much higher of me. 1986, the first female American captain in history. Suddenly I'm in the cockpit. Suddenly I've got my wings. Suddenly all of those pilots protesting me. Well, they can get their own drinks. And somehow I'm 51 Suddenly I'm flying Paris to Dallas Across the Atlantic and feeling calm But suddenly someone on air-to-air -air traffic says At 846 there's been a terrorist action And the one thing I loved more than anything Was used as the bomb. 